I'm overlooking this picturesque lake that people have been writing about and talking about for centuries. It took me a little more than a day to reach this location with a stopover in Beijing. Long enough to pick up a book about Marco Polo. Back when Marco Polo was moving from continent to continent, of course he couldn't hop on a plane. Back then, travel meant considerable hardship, patience, and time. His travels in China alone would consume 17 years. After thousands of kilometers and years of travel, he was most taken with Hangzhou, writing, it's beyond dispute the finest and noblest city in the world. Food was a major attraction when Marco Polo was here, and people are still raving about the cuisine today. And what's not to love, like the fresh fish caught in the lake. Then there's these unique, fresh ingredients that you can pick up here. The world leaders will be served lots of this during their stay here. And for a sneak peek at what some of the dishes are, we sent our reporter Hunan out to talk to one of the top chefs. Light, fresh and soft. That's probably the most frequently used words for Hangzhou cuisine. It's recognized as one of the eight major schools of cuisine in China. Hangzhou dishes are known for their elaborate and sophisticated preparation, enjoyable presentation, and delicate cooking methods. That exquisiteness may have its roots stemmed from history some 800 years ago. That's when Hangzhou was the capital of the country. Hu Zhongying is crowned as one of the 10 most famous chefs in China. In fact, he spent half a century cooking and perfecting Hangzhou cuisine. With thousands of years of history behind us, every dish and its related historical figures are noted in book. As Chinese culture gives great importance to cooking and makes us a culinary art, Hangzhou cuisine uses less oil, sugar and starch, which fits the nutrition concepts of people nowadays. His most famous dishes include West Lake fish in vinegar gravy, shelled shrimp with green pea, squirrel fish, beggar's chicken, dongpo pork, fried bells, and actually dozens of other famous dishes that are luring gourmands from all over the world. But only a few ones will be served at the G20 Summit dining table. Rooted in a city with over 5,000 years of history, every traditional Hangzhou dish has its own interesting story. 20 dishes will be served during the G20 Summit, most of them with a flavor of salty and sweet, reflecting the traditional Hangzhou cuisine. Hangzhou cuisine emphasizes fresh seafood and produce like bamboo shoots and sauces with subtle and mellow flavors. The goal is to accentuate, not overpower, a dish's leading ingredient. Shrimp with green tea and Westlake vinegar fish are traditional Hangzhou dishes. In Hangzhou's best-known restaurant, the four traditional dishes can bring in an annual revenue of 100 million. That reflects the public acceptance of Hangzhou cuisine. The dishes we designed especially for the G20 summit can also be promoted to ordinary restaurants for the public. Hangzhou cuisine is widely celebrated in China, but practically unheard of in the West. Many foreigners are more familiar with the fiery Sichuan dishes and the Cantonese dim sum, or the sweet Peking duck and the succulent Shanghai soup dumplings. The G20 summit might be a platform for Hangzhou cuisine to add some flavor to the global gourmet's table. Hunan CCTV, Hangzhou, Zhejiang province.